another thing that may come with the ter- with the territory also is you going out on New Year's Eve and being a really, really famous <laughs> R&B singer um, and somebody initiating a lawsuit, a $10 million lawsuit $10 million. for sexual assault. That's what right. happened to Trey Songs on New Year's Eve night. So he left. He was at Diddy's New Year's Eve party. And right after that, decided his night was not over. Okay. So he's going to go out to a nightclub and he's going to partake in all the things that you partake of in a nightclub. Unfortunately, there were at least like according to this report, at least two women mm-hmm. who were in that nightclub who were in his in his company, in his vicinity, who thought his behavior was illegal. My whole thing when I first heard this case and read the details, like after you leave Diddy's New Year's Day party, you still want to party? You yeah. still want to go to the club? Trey, bring go, your ass home. Take your ass home. Like, how you go to a Diddy party and then go to another party, first of all? That's, first of all, that's, like, how do you not get your shit off, get all your shit off, off at, the, at the Diddy party? How do you still have, like, energy, time and energy and a desire? Right, to go to another party. To go that's to a club. One, right? Exactly. Forget the, forget the whole lawsuit. Just forget, yeah. we're, we're not even talking about that. Yo, what, is, what happened, Trey? Like, what's going on with you for you to go to another party? Go ahead. Finish. A lot of shit can be avoided if niggas just go home. <laughs> or stay home. Or do something indoors or do something away from the masses of people that either only fuck with you because you're famous or want something from you because you're famous. Correct. Now, you're at the Diddy party. Everybody's famous. Right. Trey was probably the least famous person at the Diddy party. <laughs> I think that was French Montana. The only thing I'm really mad at French Montana for is spoiling power. That's the only thing I'm really mad at French Montana for. Like, he went after Power aired on, um, on well, before it even aired the real time, but everybody watches it on demand at midnight, on Saturday right. at midnight. He spoiled power for people who didn't fucking see it. See, All shame because he's on you. with 50 Cent. Shame there are lines you. you shouldn't cross. Spoiling TV shows that people love is that line. He's, yeah, can we cancel him? Can we cancel French Montana? Yeah. I don't think, I don't think we can cancel people in 2020 because we tried to cancel a bunch of motherfuckers in 2019 and they're still kicking. <laughs> 